While I don't think Andy Green being traded warrants a video of its own, Blake Coleman does. Blake Coleman this year with 21 goals, 10 assists, 31 points. He's been fantastic for the New Jersey Devils. He had 22 goals last year, so he's one goal away from a career high. He was drafted number 75 overall in 2011 by the Devils. He's now a member of the Tampa Bay Lightning. The Lightning are loading up. Going the other way, first-round pick Nolan Foote. What's interesting about that is when Nolan Foote was drafted, uh, there was some debate about whether or not he was actually going to be NHL level at the time of the draft. So maybe there's something Tampa Bay's seen in his game that made them say, eh. Or, or conversely, maybe New Jersey looked at his game and said, that's the kind of guy we need for the future. So uh, we'll see over the coming years what kind of a prospect he becomes for New Jersey. And most fascinatingly in this deal, most fascinatingly, uh, the draft pick going the other way is a first-round pick in 2020. It is the Canucks' first-round draft pick. Now, it's conditional, meaning if the Canucks were to miss the playoffs, and based on today's results, <laughs> that means the 2021 draft pick next year, which would not be lottery protected, would go to New Jersey if Vancouver did miss the playoffs. So this is where things get really, really interesting. Tampa Bay, not a team that needs a lot of first-round draft picks. Uh, not a team that's overly concerned. They now say, you know what? We'll pick up Blake Coleman. We're going for it. Tampa Bay, a team that didn't really need another 20-goal scorer. They've got another 20-goal scorer. It's kind of obnoxious. Now, I'm wearing Tampa Bay because I believe they won it. But I'm going to say this. New Jersey today, they added a first, they added a second, and they added two prospects. And we can debate how good these prospects are. But when you're adding prospects and draft picks, that's how it's supposed to work. New Jersey is doing this exactly the way it's supposed to be done. Uh, once Taylor Hall was out, that was it. We were going into that rebuild. And for New Jersey fans who may, you know, feel like, how long is this going to take? You know, at least they're picking up draft picks. At least they're getting prospects. At least they're doing what they have to do. So we will see how Blake Coleman does in Tampa. He has been a very good goal scorer for the New Jersey Devils. And therefore, I thought, you know what? I'm going to do my own video. I'm not going to touch the boards. I'll leave everything as it is. And uh, we will discuss these games when they're all done, when everything's finished. But I wanted to put this up. I wanted this video to be up so you guys can discuss with me and with others how you feel about this deal. Again, Tampa Bay, a team that didn't really need another top goal scorer, picks up a guy who's having a career year in Coleman. But here's the other question. Last year, we saw Ryan Dezingle go from the Ottawa Senators to the Columbus Blue Jackets. He was having a career year with, with the Ottawa Senators that didn't translate to Columbus. Is it possible Coleman goes to Tampa and scores three goals from here? And that's, that's a question I have as well. Was Coleman scoring more because he's in New Jersey than he will in Tampa because he's not going to get that ice time? He's not going to get those prime chances? Or is it all, nah, he'll get nine more goals. He'll end up with 30 and it's a fantastic move. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Again, I'm giving Tampa Bay the win on this. But I will say, while I'm giving both teams that traded with New Jersey the victory, New Jersey, very astute in trading. They didn't take Tampa Bay's number one draft pick. They took Vancouver's. That's smart. So, yeah, we, we'll see how things turn out. So, for Vancouver fans, this whole thing just got more complicated. They turned JT Miller into Blake Coleman. So, yeah, right? Uh, let me know your thoughts. Hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through. You just happened upon this video. We are getting up to the trade deadline. And again, if we don't have very many big names at the trade deadline, that's fine. We'll make stuff up. Uh, trade deadline day, we'll make stuff up. And uh, we'll we'll see how things go. But I will say at the same time, we will I, I will do my best to, to break the trades as they take place. Usually during the live stream, there are people who are breaking trades even before TSN and Sportsnet. So that's always kind of fun when the live stream that I have on the channel sometimes breaks the trades before the networks pick up on it. And sometimes I'm like, well, I don't want to put that one on the board because I don't know. Oh, yeah, no, no, it happened. All right, cool. So we'll see if that happens again a week from tomorrow. Let me know your thoughts. Thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, I will talk to you again probably very soon when the next trade happens. Who else is New Jersey going to get rid of? I'll talk to you again soon.